here we go again. Hey everyone, it's Dave from Gamers on Games, and well, here we go again. But before I get into this video, I need to say a few things. While I appreciate people on my Facebook, Twitter, and elsewhere pointing me towards the dregs of our hobby to shine a light on them, doing so is exhausting. And I feel it is dragging me away from what I really want to do with this channel. I feel pointing out the problems with the gaming culture is important in both the industry and the hobby side. I've never been shy about this position. Heck, I've been so vocal as to tell Dave from Mini Wargaming during a conversation, you keep pushing the good aspects of gaming and making people happy and I'll shield you by handling the undesirables. I meant it then, I mean it now. There is a lot wrong with our hobby and our industry. There's fascism, intolerance, power trip fueled abuse and harassment. Heck, we've even had industry personalities snap and go on murder suicides. Namely, the Sean Varsus incident. It isn't pretty. That being said, I've gotten an increased influx since doing the videos about Venger Satanus. Dealing with his sycophants and apologists has been nauseating and exhausting. The fact that they are so willfully blind to their own toxicity is positively mind-boggling, and the enthusiasm of their conviction to their own self-righteousness is nothing short of unreal. That being said, I received this video from a viewer and was told it's called Know Thy Enemy. I have no information about who made it or where it comes from, but the content is bad like objectively bad. We're going to go through this video piece by piece and debunk it and call it out. Now, I've heard the feedback from the last video we did about Venger and the criticisms regarding its format. I'll avoid interjecting repetitive comment over and over. I wanted to try a new approach. Plus, my batteries were drained regarding Venger Satanus. And I didn't really have the oomph to go full hog on him. I was also operating under the belief that expending real effort to criticize and debunk was ultimately going to fall on deaf ears, and not really change much. So why bother expending the effort, you know? But the criticism about the approach was received loud and clear, and I'll avoid doing that again as best as I can manage. So the video starts off with copyrighted music, namely One in a Million by Guns N' Roses. So we're going to cut that out. However, because the lyrics seem relevant to this topic, I'll give them to you. Oh, and this is the first 27 seconds of this 4 minute, 14 second video. <clears throat> Radicals and racists, don't point your finger at me. I'm a small town white boy just trying to make ends meet. Don't need your religion, don't watch that much TV, just making my living, that's enough for me. This is going to be one of those videos, ain't it? Is a trans woman an actual woman? Yes. Yes, she, or they, depending on pronoun preference, are. Wait, can I end this video here? No? Because this is going to get worse? Why do you do this to me? No. Science tells me that the trans woman is a man. Science tells you this? Interesting as science seems to be pointing towards acknowledging that a transgender individual is what they view themselves as, same way that a person is the religion they practice, not necessarily what religion they were born into. That's called conversion. There are peer-reviewed studies regarding the transgender community. We'll put a link to it in the video description for you to review at your leisure. My common sense tells me that the trans woman is a man. Your common sense tells you this? Okay, so when science tells you you're wrong, your common sense doesn't really mean much. This is the same as when flat earthers say their common sense tells them the earth is flat, despite scientific evidence and, you know, evidence showing the exact opposite. Belief in the face of fact doesn't mean much. But let's take a moment to talk about common sense, what it is and what it means. I think the best way to approach the discussion of common sense can best be taken from sociologygroup.com and this quote. 
While psychology is a science that derives its assumptions and theories based on scientific knowledge that is generated from research and experiments, common sense remains a term given to shared beliefs or notions about the social and physical world that are not formulated through systematic testing. It may range from routine knowledge about the world such as sugar is sweet and grass is green, to common sense perceptions such as stereotypes and prejudices that are a result of generalization. Buddy, we are a mere 40 seconds into your video and I've already debunked you on two of your thesis statements. This isn't just sad, it's outright pathetic. And what's sadder, I was able to do it with basic Googling. And the fact that the trans woman has a dick tells me that it is a man. Ah, so this statement alone has a large amount to go through. First, you are basing your statements on just one type of sexual expression. And you aren't even doing that correctly, as you are confusing gender and sex. A common thing done by bigots, conservatives, and the blatantly stupid. So let's take a moment to educate you, if that's even possible. Taking a section from Healthline.com. Gender is an identity, your personal sense of who you are. The term can also refer to socially constructed categories that relate to what it means to be a man or a woman. Sex refers to biological and physiological characteristics. Your genitals, hormones, and chromosomes all relate to your sex. Although many are taught that there are only two sexes, male and female, that isn't true. Some people are intersex, or have difference of sexual development. Now that's the quick version. The link to the rest of the article is in the video's description section. Now, the other point I want to bring up is your use of the pronoun it, which is a blatant, transphobic use of the pronoun. If there was any possible chance of interpreting this video as miscommunication, misinformation, or something that could be resolved, you've sunk it. Using the term it with the emphasis you put on it to make sure no one missed it or your meaning behind it just says you are closed off from any rational conversation to be had. Again, I'd love to bail out of this video at this point but someone took the care to send it to me, so I guess I should take the care to go through the whole thing. Again, I'm only 47 seconds into this video at this point. It is over four minutes long. Why do you people do this to me? This fact in itself is not hateful unless you have hateful intent when you state the fact. None of what you have said is fact. I've already proven that it isn't fact. And to take a line from Bender, I can hope my ass is made of ice cream, but that don't make me a hot fudge sundae. If it is your purpose to hate on the person you're speaking to or speaking about, the intent will be shown in what you say. You are speaking falsehoods, lies, and rhetorical poison. Your intent is clear. You are looking to dehumanize the transgender community. Now, I would make this argument if I thought, say, YouTube staff were reasonable people who were not far-left activists. But they are far-left political activists. They will hear hate. Oh, finally, we're past the one-minute mark. I would love to see proof that YouTube staff are exclusively made up of left-wing activists, as I've gotten a number of my videos criticizing the right and conservative pundits put through the ringer, including being demonetized. Heck, I've had videos supporting left-wing personalities hit with content strikes. So I'm going to have to call BS on this one until I can be shown evidence. But considering whoever this is doesn't believe in facts or science or anything that doesn't give him free reign to slam whoever is different from him, I gotta believe no proof will be provided. Also, what does any of this have to do with gaming? Is it coming? This just sounds like Tucker Carlson talking points regurgitated by some incel child. They will hear bigotry even if what you say has no hate behind it and there is no bigotry that you can actually imply. Well, your use of the term it earlier completely unmasks your bigotry, so there's that. The same can be said for Twitter, 
and Facebook. You will get strikes, you will get suspended, you will get censored, and you will get banned even if you do not cross any line of hate or bigotry. If what you say is simply you stating a fact with no ill intent behind it, it doesn't matter. Ah, so here seems to be his real grievance. It's that he can't be openly transphobic without facing consequences. See, this is what really gets me, and I just cannot understand how have conservatives, bigots, and the rest of that vein not figured out that actions have consequences? I mean, for the cheap shot, I guess we can look at how they treated Donald Trump. The guy screwed up left, right, and center, even attempted to violently overthrow the government, but still couldn't be impeached, and litigation against him has been excruciatingly slow. Maybe that's why conservatives act as though consequences for the actions they take are so pearl-clutchingly shocking. Makes you wonder how they bring up their kids, or how their nannies bring up their kids, or how the meth dealers are bringing up their kids, or how the overly affectionate priests are bringing up their kids. Sorry, I didn't want any part of their base to feel left out. Also, I'd like to take a moment to point out how this guy wants to claim intent as he brings it up repeatedly. He's claiming that social media platforms are to discern intent on every video posted. So, considering videos and posts are screened by bots that are not particularly bright, nuanced, or clued in, they rely on key words and phrases. Tone and vocal inflections are not part of their scripts. You are demanding a lot from a bare minimum resource. Further, if your material is flagged by a bot, you can appeal it to the platform and have it reviewed manually. I have had to do this ad nauseum. It's a pain in the rear end, but if you're posting something borderline, you should expect it. For example, I'm expecting it with this video. They want to control what you can say so they can control what you think. YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook are not censoring and banning people so they can get more ad revenue. This is political. This is a push to take over a system. Nope. Just simply nope. If you have proof of this, show it. So far, you've slung accusations, assumptions, stereotypes, and prejudice every which way, begging for some of it to stick to the wall. But you haven't supported a single thing you've said. I can only assume, based on you bringing it up earlier, that all of this is just more of your common sense. Common sense is not fact. Evidence is what is needed here, and you refuse time and again to supply it. Also, your push to take over a system reeks of deep state conspiracy theory talking points, which has a glorious history rooted in anti-Semitism and is a favorite angle of QAnon and its members. So, I gotta assume, again, based on the evidence of your rhetoric and choice of talking points that you ascribe to these talking points. Either you are an anti-Semite in your own right, or you are one via your affiliation with QAnon. So which is it? And again, who the hell are you? Do not look at Google, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter as just some regular companies with a lot of power. No, they are political. And the owners are the ones pulling the strings on these sites. And when I say owners, I'm not talking about the company owners. I'm talking about, you know, the owners of all of this. Or at least people that perceive themselves as owners of all of this. And there it is. Larger than life shadowy they's who are to be feared. Yep, this is anti-Semitism just in a different dress. I can only assume we're going to get blood libel in there somehow. In fact, I'm going to be kind of disappointed if we don't. Also, again, how is this gaming related? Does this guy usually talk about gaming? Is that the connection? Also, the list of social media platforms he rattles off. Is it any coincidence that these are all the platforms that gave Trump the boot? Oh, and for added fun, Trump's personal social media platform, Truth, is failing miserably. Not directly relevant, but hilarious nonetheless. 
Putin and Russia is not as much of a threat to your life as these sites are and the people behind them. Why are you bringing up Putin? Out of nowhere. Blam, Putin. Again, this screams of Tucker Carlson's sycophantry. Is that what this is? Is this the version of Rickrolling? You guys send me something, claim it's gaming related, and it's really just some knob who's got a not-so-secret erection for Tucker Carlson? I thought this was all about bashing transgender people, not about Putin. Also, Putin is a threat. More of a threat to the states than transgender folks. And I can prove it simply. Election meddling and Russian bot farms. Not all threats have to be done with bombs and bullets. But if we're going to talk about Russia, may I remind you all, he's still attacking Ukraine and Russian forces are committing war crimes daily. Find a charity that you like and please support the Ukrainian refugees. Thank you. I am never surprised when I am censored by my enemies because I am on their site and they are my enemies. If you are censored, which isn't what's happening here, but I'll get to that in a minute, and you aren't surprised by it, why are you continuing the same behavior? The definition of insanity is performing the same actions and expecting different results. Maybe you need to reconsider what you are doing. Furthermore, you are being smacked because you are not complying with whichever platform's terms of service. This is that big long document you were supposed to read, but obviously no one ever really does, that tells you what you are and are not allowed to do. When you violate that, you are subject to penalties and disciplinary action. Again, consequences of actions. As for censoring, because this inevitably leads to the First Amendment rights discussion, you are not in a public space. You are on a privately owned digital platform that makes its own rules about what is allowed and isn't. Violation comes with consequences. You aren't being censored, you are being reprimanded. If your material is not acceptable on YouTube or the myriad of other platforms you listed, why not try Gab, if that's even still a thing? Or how about 8chan? 8chan accepts anything still, right? Oh, and regarding the using the platform of my enemy aspect, if you disturb a den of vipers, expect to get bit. They are more of a threat to me than Putin or Russia, so I don't want to fight Putin and Russia, I want to fight my real enemies. This keyboard cowboy wouldn't last 30 seconds against Russia. And if he believes he would, please, go to the Ukraine now, get a rifle and some ammo, and fight them. Either way, the world wins. Either you go there and help repel the Russian aggressors, or you'll no longer be a worry to the land of the living. Ever need an example of win-win? There you go. Learn about YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Google. Because knowing about it, knowing about them, is knowing your enemy. What is it we're supposed to learn and know? Also, how are they my enemy? Who is this paranoid nutcase? Seriously. This is just some whack job screaming QAnon BS into the void. Sadly, you guys put me into the void, so I gotta listen to this lunacy. Why? And one day we will have a choice between complete slavery and freedom. And if we go for freedom, we will have to encounter the people running these sites. This sounds like a call for violence. This really sounds like thinly veiled language surrounding a call for violence. Dude... Whoever you are, what are you on? Please, get some help. You are beyond unhinged. The internet is where the new public square is, and these sites represent that public square. Except they're not. They are, as previously mentioned, privately owned sites that allow you to use them as long as you comply with their terms of service. If you do not like that term of service, Try one that is more conducive to your belief structures. Again, Gab or 8chan spring to mind. Go to the dark web. Wherever bigots like you congregate, go there. At this stage, whoever controls the public square on the internet controls the world. Nothing has changed about us since Rome. We are still the same monsters we were then. Rome? 
I seriously doubt this knucklehead knows anything about Rome. Hell, I doubt this guy knows anything about Times Square, New York. Dude, you have no concept of public spaces or speaking in them. Please, you're so desperate for attention. You're getting it from me and, well, whoever else watches this breakdown of your video. But none of us know who the heck you are. And having listened to it, I don't think there's any good reason to care. This entire video has been bigotry and conspiracy theories and fear and hate stoking. And you're not even good at it. You need to rub some funk on it. 2022 has not brought us into a world where people are more civilized. We are not. We pretend to be, but we are not. Don't live life as a naive fool. Reality is crazier than fantasy. Wake up to what is going on and speak up and protest. If not, sooner or later, this really will all be gone. Protest what? You haven't established anything. You've skipped around on topics so much in just one video, I have no idea what the point of any of it was except to parrot alt-right and far-right talking points that have already been said by someone infinitely smarter and more charismatic than you. You've made statement after statement, accusations and allusions to a thousand different things, but haven't backed up a single point with anything beyond your concept of common sense, which you still couldn't define. You know, a person like me, I can handle the world where they try to enslave me, but most of you can't. No. No, you can't. You can't handle a person being trans. You can't handle the concept of protected speech. You can't handle anything. For a movement that screams snowflake at anyone left of them, you fall apart at the smallest, most insignificant things, and you do it in such a spectacular fashion that everyone else around you, outside of your group, wonders what is wrong with them. The same way we all look at the small child throwing the largest tantrum because they didn't get their way. Or from my own personal experience, when I tell my daughter she's overtired and she flips out because she's overtired, not realizing she's actually proving my point, again, in a spectacular fashion. You don't understand that your outrage, your shallow, spectacular outrage, doesn't help you, but actually helps the people you are melting down over. So for that, thank you. Now please, go to your room, turn off the lights, take some deep breaths, and when you're calmer and ready, I'll come up and talk to you. So you really need to learn to speak up. Anyway, for now, take care. Okay, so that was a god-awful mess of a video. Why would any of you send me that? Again, who the heck is this snowflake? Again, who the heck is this snowflake MAGA moron? Tons of accusations, not a solid point amongst them, and no evidence in sight. If this guy is a member of the gaming industry, yeah, he should be ejected like Honeycutt was. If he's in the hobby side of things, push him to the corner and never speak of him again. Sadly, I suspect he thinks of himself as a spokesperson for, well, something, or worse, some sort of martyr. Please don't send me anything by this nudnik ever again. Next video, hopefully something more positive, folks. Hey guys, it's Dave for Gamers on Games. Uh, so this is the little addendum at the end. Um, I got... Finally, some communication back from the person who sent me this video, and apparently this guy actually is in the gaming industry. In fact, um, this is a guy who's made comments on my channel before. So, um, yeah, now you're probably going, well, well, tell us who he is. I'm not gonna, and I'm not gonna for a very good reason. There is no reason I should boost signal for this guy. I will not platform him. Platform him. So, um, yeah, <laughs> there's there's nothing here. Um, if he does comment, his comments will be deleted. Uh, I, 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 there's no way he can defend himself. He's going to have to come up with something amazing to be defended and to be given any sort of voice here. Um, and I'm sure you're going to watch it. Because apparently you've now started to hate watch all my stuff. And that's... Hilarious. 
So, um, whatever, dude. If you're going to comment, um, it will, it will not show. And I will not read it. And I will not respond. Have a nice day.